What is going on, YouTube? Lamont at large. Today I'm at the Rose Hill Cemetery here in Linden, New Jersey, and I'm here to visit the grave of one Marcy Borders. If you don't know who she is, let me explain quickly. September 11, 2001, as you guys well know, we were attacked. Two planes flying into the World Trade Center, each tower, and along with the other two planes that slammed into the Pentagon, and the fourth plane that was taken over by the passengers on Flight 93 that crashed into Pennsylvania. Altogether, at that time, almost 3,000 people lost their lives, but that has gone past 3,000 people with the residual effects, after effects, of the health conditions that people have suffered after that tragic day. So on that date, Marcy was working as a legal assistant for Bank of America. She was working in the North Tower on the 81st floor when all of a sudden she heard a loud boom and the building started shaking like crazy. Everybody's looking around, wondering what's going on. And, you know, people start coming around. Hey, guys, we were hit by a small plane. Everybody calm, everybody relax. Uh, you don't need to leave. We just, you know, need to stay right here. So you have several thousand people that during that day, in the early morning hours, when the plane struck the building, you had a bunch of people that didn't know what happened. They thought that a small plane had struck the building and it was no big deal, right? Nobody knew that a commercial airliner that was taken over by a bunch of thugs, insane thugs, had slammed that plane into the building. Now, Marcy's in her office and she's looking outside and she's seeing things falling out of the sky. Later on, she said, at first I thought it was office supplies and printers and computers. Next thing you know, I'm noticing it's not that, it's people. People are jumping out of the windows. Finally, people said, you know what? This ain't no small commuter plane because they start realizing the building shook way too much for that to have just been a commuter plane. If it was a commuter plane, most people wouldn't even know what happened. And that plane slammed 12 floors between, I believe, the 92nd and the 95th floor. It's only 12 floors above her. So she says, the hell with this, I'm out of here. So her with thousands of people just start packing the stairwell, just racing down the stairwell. stairwell. It took her damn near an hour to get to the bottom and as she's going she's seeing the firefighters passing her going up the stairs and all she remembers the firefighters telling her was don't look back just keep going don't look bad and sadly those those men and those firefighters lost their lives in the collapse of those buildings just as she got down and out of the building a few moments later the building collapsed if she would have stayed in there basically another five minutes she'd be dead then so she sees the building collapsing this ominous loud a sound that she's never heard in her life she starts running this cloud of dust starts moving everywhere Everybody's like running for their lives. This looks like a scene from an apocalyptic movie. Just as she's running, she's overtaken by the dust. All that dust coated her whole body. She falls to her knees and she can't breathe. And she's just coughing up everything. Finally, somebody sees her, pulls her into a lobby of a building and she's disoriented. She doesn't know what happened. She's in a daze. And there was a photographer 
who took a picture of her and it is one of the most famous pictures having to you know in our in ever but having to especially do with 9 11. at the time nobody knew her name they simply referred to her as the dust lady finally one of Marcy's relatives calls the AP a few days later and says, no, that's that's my relative, that's Marcy Borders. And even though her name is Marcy Borders, she was always referred to by that iconic picture as the dust lady. Uh, Marcy suffered severe depression issues after that. She never went back to New York City, but only one time, and that was to celebrate her daughters graduating middle school they rented a limousine they went into new york city she was so scared she suffered such trauma such ptsd she couldn't even get out of the limousine she suffered through bouts of alcohol and, and drug dependence she did go to rehab later and beat those addictions she didn't work i believe for most of the time after she left she relied, you know, she was she was a, became a stay-at-home mom. On August of 2014, she was diagnosed with stomach cancer. And she said the first thing she remembers saying was it finally got me. All that asbestos, all that glass particles, all the silica all the paint everything all that dust on the outside what you see in her face on her clothes so elegantly dressed she was and just all that dust just imagine all that dust not only was it on the outside of her body but also on the inside and she tragically fought for a year to live and sadly she died one year later August 24, 2015. Uh, this is the grave of Marcy Borders. The world knows her as the Dust Lady, but she does have a name. It is Marcy Borders. Now, it, it says, now, uh, I, I will say this. On the stone, it says Borders as another person is buried here. And online, it has her as Marcy Borders. On her grave, it says Marcy D. Edwards. I don't know if that's her married name or Borders was her uh, maiden name. But rest in peace to Marcy nonetheless. And just a uh, very tragic story. And, you know, even though... You know, almost 3,000 people died that day. People are still continuing to suffer the effects. Almost 5,000 people that were either in the tower, in the area, or worked for the fire department have came down with cancer. It's a scary fact that nobody talks about. Rest in peace to Marcy. Uh, my condolences to her family. All right, I'm out of here. I'm hitting the road. I'll catch up with y'all later. Have a good day. Be blessed to have your help. Always, never let a day go by that I don't thank the Lord that I'm able to do what I do. I'm able to walk. And I still have my help. I'll catch up with y'all later. Peace out.